one of the top questions we get is how do I take uh, what I learn in body sex into partner sex? And I think it's hard for women as a group because we haven't developed our sexual voice. Mm -hmm. And so if we want to have orgasms during partner sex, there are only kind of two options. (laughs) And Betty coined both of these terms. You have to run the fuck or you have to understand that sometimes fucking can be foreplay for masturbation. Yes. Yes. So let's break down run the fuck. State your pleasure. Mm -hmm. Don't suffer through things. Bring toys that you like. If you want to be in a different position, do it. If you have to pee, take a pee break. Yeah. Maintain control of your clitoris. Your orgasm belongs to you. You're responsible for your own orgasm. Each partner. And if you're having heterosexual sex, you know, men freely touch themselves during sex and we should be doing that too. So knowing your window of how much time you need before you can reach your first Mm -hmm. orgasm, most women it's 14 minutes and getting your hand or vibe down there from the beginning of foreplay. So, and then sometimes fucking is foreplay for masturbation as well. So you can enjoy being with a partner and then afterwards, if, if your partner orgasms and you haven't, you can masturbate. It's perfect. With them next to you, supporting you, we call that partner assisted masturbation. It's pretty erotic. You can say, I'm not done. Roll over, grab your hand or your vibe, whatever you prefer and have them play with your nipples, kiss your neck, talk dirty in your ear. It's very compelling to watch someone build up to an orgasm. It's Mm -hmm. so rare that we get to see that because we don't Mm -hmm. see that in adult entertainment. So I've always found that partners are completely fine if I say I'm not done and roll over. Or it could be, it's a casual encounter. I'm just not really feeling it for whatever reason. I can't get there. That's all right. I had a great time. I had skin to skin contact. Right? Mm-hmm. That always feels nice. Yeah. And then you can take it back home and masturbate then and fantasize. Right. And and the, the first part of being with the partner was arousing. That was your arousal phase. So then when you, you go home, your your clitoris is erect and you are ready to go. Exactly. Because we don't lose our erections. Mm-hmm. It's always right there. So once we start building up, you can take a little break and go back. So when we can give ourselves the space and time to just be sexual, right, without expectation and pressure for it to be any special thing, it's interesting how the orgasms come. Literally. (laughs) (laughs) And if I think of my top sexual experiences, because people always ask you, only one included penetration. Mm Mm-hmm. I would say the same for me too. So, you know, focus off of penis and vagina. It's not at the top of a sexual hierarchy. It's part of a menu with many, many options. Exactly. And get rid of the whole heteronormative simultaneous orgasm. All those things that we see are really myths. Can it happen? Yes, but it's very rare. Mm Mm-hmm. But you can always give yourself an orgasm whenever you want. Mm -hmm. And it's important to continue masturbating when you're in a partnered relationship for sex because masturbation feeds partner sex. It does not take away from partner sex at all. It helps you be more aroused. It helps you know what you want so you can state your pleasure and it develops the relationship with yourself and your self-esteem. So that way you can bring yourself into a partnered relationship as an equal. And have the confidence to state your pleasure, define your boundary and take your orgasm. Mm Mm-hmm. 